Well, uh, ocalizumab actually was approved for the spectrum of MS, but of course the first time it was actually carved out for primary progressive disease, which is, as everybody knows, it's the most ominous form. It used to be called chronic progressive MS. Um, it's, it's great hope. It's a great hope. On the other hand, um, one of the frightening things that we've seen over the years is that somebody with primary progressive MS may have been diagnosed in the early 20s and today is in their 40s. And that aging may not make that person eligible or at least responsive to oquilizumab. We don't know enough about what aging does to the disease. And so it's promising for sure and it's worth a try for sure, and the insurance will probably approve it, but then will, will it work? And that's, that's the scary part of it. I actually just met with the wife of a patient who's in his late 30s, who's had MS for about 18 years, and he did not respond to it. So the big, in my mind, the big black hole is, is there a window of time that the patient needs to be treated. We know that early treatment in relapsing MS is the way to go. The best response is if you get them diagnosed and start them immediately or as close to immediately. We don't know what that window is going to be with ocrelizumab, although everybody should be eligible for it.